my next person, um, it also feels like a lady, um, but she's um in my, in my mind, right? I feel like um there might have been a fall around her, or, or like leading up to a fall because she keeps showing me a fall. It's part of it looked like it came from down the stairwell, you know, or falling down some stairs. And then I was like, oh, is this what she died from? But I don't think so. I think it's something that she experienced. So there might have been a fall around her. And then my next impression was bed falling out and or and hitting my head of some sort. So there's there might have been a bit of tumbles or tumbling around this lady um towards the end. Um I'm 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 in my mind, I don't feel like I'm as sharp as I could be. So there could be some impression of cognitive function or dementia coming over at me. Um I got a big influence of England a little bit, you know the motherland I, you know um i kept hearing it pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile so uh, so i feel like this lady's in spirit with another man who may have been in the army or the wartime yeah. I, I i keep i keep wanting to go over to the uk a little bit so Sans. sorry base yes it sounds yeah. exactly like my mum so far so, so it sounds like your mum yeah yeah she um about was it nearly yeah about a year before she passed she fell down the stairs she woke up to go to the toilet in the night oh. and she fell down the whole flight of stairs cracked her ribs ended up in the hospital yeah for about a okay. week and okay. then yeah she went a few days before she actually passed she went dizzy and uh fell fell over in her bedroom Okay. So, okay. This is it. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kerry. Absolutely. Don't tell me too much. Don't <laughs> okay. tell me too much. But as long as right. you know, I did feel very sweet and very endearing, very motherly about her. Um, oh, I felt like there's this big, big tie to England. Um, mm. And do you understand her, she'd be in spirit with a man who would have spent some time in the army or, you know, in, in the military in the past and yeah. at least in the, in the second okay. world war. Anyway, I feel that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Her dad was in the uh, Navy, but it was the First World War, my granddad. Oh, oh yeah, granddad. Yeah. Okay. okay. He travelled well, a lot as well, is not he? I do yeah. feel like this, you know. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> let's just see. You know, it might be it might be mum, it might be, you, you know, um, dad, or it might be granddad. I don't know yet. So we'll just... It won't be dad, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. the picture. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, with the picture, with the picture. So oh, uh, let's see what let's see what comes with it, yeah? And okay. I'll flick my... Right. I'll flick my screen, yeah. Your mum is so sweet. Um, honestly, um yes, yeah. very <laughs> very, very, very kind, very endearing lady. Mm. I feel like I don't want people fussing over me. Um Yeah. Oh yeah, big time, yeah. Um, I don't want to be a burden. Go away. Nothing to see, nothing to do here. I'm all right. So yeah. I do I do I do feel like I want to push people away a little bit. So she's naughty, your mum. Yeah, she um, was like that. Yeah, it's quite stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Especially yeah. And <laughs> yeah, I think it's out of humility and it would have been humble and I'd, I don't want to yeah. be a burden to people. So she kind of maybe wants to tell you today that, you know, I'm so sorry if I didn't, if I wasn't so transparent and, and le letting people know what was really happening, you know? Um, well, we, yeah, we had an idea that she wasn't well and all that. There was a few things going on, but yeah, yeah. I mean, we didn't we didn't expect it at the end so soon. No, she mm. she never. They're quite a high pain threshold as well. So I'll say, I'll say, yeah, she's, <laughs> she's stubborn, stubborn, yeah. stubborn. Like mm. wow, very, 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 very. <laughs> um, and uh, it but you know. So <laughs> You know, um, I th maybe it runs in the family, eh? <laughs> not a bad trait, not a bad trait, yeah, not a yeah. bad trait at all. But it, that's it. But pardon me, but I do feel like you know, if she did, and it, it might have, she might have, you know, given people a bit more time to to understand what's happening around her. You know, I feel like yeah. she said I, I should have been a bit more transparent, uh, and I'm not really letting people know what's going on with me. You know. Um, no, I've got good, con like yeah. Yeah, I got amazing constitution, and I just didn't want everyone to worry about me. You know, bless her. This is lovely. So, yeah, but uh, yeah. yeah, helped a lot. Um, more if yeah, for sure, she's um, uh, 
very very endearing very sweet lady um i think she's um um do you understand that she would uh, you, you know be a support to a lot of other people um oh yeah for a life um, yeah yeah i i got people coming in and wanting to have chin wags and I'm bringing up uh, um yeah. uh, it's like call a hotline you know i feel like She'd be on. She might be on the phone for hours, and people can't get through because she's on the gas bag, and you know. Yeah, and, was um, a lot of that with the neighbours, and when we used to, when she used to pick us up from school, she used to walk. Um, another lady, a friend, Ma- uh, Maureen, and everyone sort of knew my mum and knew Maureen. Maureen was like a uh, well-known childminder around that area, so I had loads of kids yeah. that she go, and I used to always want to have to yeah. get home. Yeah, go home and watch all the kids' programs, and I'll have to wake. They they were both chatting all the time, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, well, so yeah, I do. I, yeah, I love that. She's basically mm-hmm. want, wants you to know that uh, she's uh, got a lot of love there. I, yeah. you know, um, and a love for you. Oh, um, I love back. <laughs> does in your family is it true? Because she makes me feel like being open to spirit and spirituality is isn't is not a new thing. Uh, is that right? Uh, um, not, it has been, um, for me, it's a lot newer since mum passing, but yeah. I've, the, yeah, I did um, have some experiences before, yeah, not for a long yeah. time. Yeah, I like Margaret and Mary as names as well here. Do you understand Margaret and Mary around your mum, through your uh, mum's side? I should know more, really, but I don't know me... Uh, yeah. There's a Margaret that's still around, that's still alive, but it's on my dad's side. Oh, it's on your but, dad's side. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's okay. Mary was our neighbour back in yeah. London. She would be probably about late 80s if she was around now, so possibly yeah. I don't know if anything to do with that. Well, yeah, I do feel like there's a Mary there. And and the interesting thing was her is, is I wanted to pass food through the fence. Um, or come around and bring food and stuff. So oh, this is really weird. The other day, I did actually wonder. I actually said, I wonder if Mary, uh, our old neighbour in Chinkford's still alive or not. So maybe she's answering me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could always find out, hey. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, there's some impression anyway because I did feel very strong about a Mary. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. So okay. you might have to you might have to investigate that or have a look at it. Um, yeah, we'll and, do. Yeah. And, um yeah. be uh um you know um and to see but i do feel there's immense love for you um oh. I, I i love yellow daffodils and all i think yeah. in europe they call they call them narcissists a bit so yeah in england called daffodils yeah yeah so do you understand she had a love for the daffodils a lot and the yeah that's my mum's code word as well when she comes through with any medium we always get daffodils and um yeah, um, we bought a load of uh, daffodils when she first passed away, and it was what my mum's favourite flower as well. Oh, that and, well, that, and another, that and one other flower. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, anyway, immense love for you. Yeah, has there been any plans for you to go and visit your family as well? Yeah, we're talking about it right now. We're trying to go for Christmas, but we're having a nightmare with the flights. <laughs> 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 okay, well, there's a bit of a theme tonight about, you know, catching up with family or travelling, isn't there, with all of you yeah. ladies? Yeah, so, yeah. That's <laughs> um, so, but that's how it works a lot, you know. I get, uh, you know, um, sometimes three Davids in one day and three Johns in one day and, <laughs> you know, uh, there's a, there seems to be some commonality sometimes and uh, energy with people. But anyway, lots of love. She... Uh, I just felt like she stoic this woman, and my God, she went through a lot. You know, um, yeah. I re, I re, really, really feel like energetically, like she really, like, like suffered, man. Like, yeah, she. she it gone you know, so. Yeah, just amazing, amazing constitution, and her body uh, threshold was just. It's insane how much a person can take. Um, <laughs> Like I really, really feel like she, uh, she, she could take a lot. This woman, you know, she did because she had a, a dementia. She was on tablets for it, but it sort of she'd lost a lot of weight. Even she had, she forgot things, but never forgot people or 
sort of it was more what she had for dinner last night or repeated herself things like that and that went on for quite a few years and in yeah. the end uh, pneumonia and we think that might have been connected to do with something the falling down the stairs the previous year yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i can understand that yeah um she's uh anyway i feel like no guilt people shouldn't be worried um for her she's okay she's not of a body um, she doesn't want anyone to feel guilty. Um, you know, uh, there might be issues about not saying goodbye properly because of her body um, okay. and, and what was happening at the time around her uh, passing. And that. so she just wants you to know that she's all right and she loves you a lot. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, and I do feel like she's very, very sweet um, and, and endearing, uh, this lo lovely lady. I'm going to, um, you know... Uh, uh, the the hair kind of uh don't mind some of this I I think her hairstyle changed too but I feel like as she got a bit older and when she was a bit unwell I I, I just felt like maybe the hairs have got a bit of length you know um to it and uh if this is gonna be her you know I do feel like there's this whole whole um process. Sometimes ears ears covered, sometimes not. You know. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I I draw them in anyway because I want them to to so, you know it's a bit of evidence that people can see that there was ears like that or similar. You know, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, so I don't mind this whole vibe a little bit. Um, yeah, she never. Um, you never know she was ill, but she never sort of said she was like odd bit of back pain, and that's all you sort of hear from her really. She wasn't yeah. even upset about the dementia, I don't think. She sort of didn't realise anything was yeah. Worse. Yeah, and of course there's various forms of dementia too, isn't there? And, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, you know, uh, short-term, long-term memory loss, that kind of thing, and uh, it's all different. Um, but just yeah, a, she'd remember what happened 40 years ago quite easily. <laughs> yeah, it's a horrible illness. So I wouldn't no, wish it on terrible. anyone. No, it's yeah. terrible. Yeah. I think the tablet she was on helped agree but but I do feel like she comes today to let you know that she loves you and that she's okay oh, um okay. and is it is this someone is there also a birthday um uh, uh, coming up in the family a birthday too yep dad's is on the 10th of April okay so I do feel like there'd be love to dad mm, um pass it on yeah I, I think she I think she'd want that, him to know that she's all right and that he couldn't have done enough for her at the time oh, you know? oh brilliant no he did do a lot yeah yeah and that she's grateful for all the time that she had um I don't mind her eyes being brown dark yep they're brown yeah uh, quite dark yeah yeah and uh and uh very very endearing woman she um uh, have you got to, um, uh, in my impression, I almost feel like with you, like, is, is it time to also move or not? Oh, <laughs> we've only been in, in this house for three years. No, um, we're trying to change our mortgage over at the moment to another bank, but I don't know, we have had our sort of thoughts, do we want to go home eventually or stay that here? Sort of yeah okay okay yeah she mentioned anything about that yeah well you know this is the interesting theme because there's a bit of a theme tonight with some of their reasons why they come that there's this whole idea yeah. that uh you know there might be uh, it's almost like a, a, a potential visit or revisit of uh, you know going back to england mm -hmm. i don't know if it's the same as it was when you left you know um um it's almost like you need to go and check it out before you make up your mind again. Yeah, I um, it's the same since COVID, is it? That's the thing. Well, and I do feel like even even uh, just uh, in general with the, you know, the economy and the, yeah. you know, the, um, and the, just the general vibe of, of whether it's something you'd like or want again, you know, uh, or to yeah. go back to. I think uh, it's about family more than anything. His mum and work's getting old and I think he thinks about it a bit more now. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But anyway, so I do, f I do feel like it's important that you have a bit of a think about um, uh, that 
um, maybe go and have a visit um, before you make up your mind. Um, oh, yeah, we would do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I'm more inclined to say that she's acknowledging here a visit first. Um, um, and uh, but it's definitely um, it's maybe not, not this. Sorry, yeah. Guys. Yeah. I was going to say that it's maybe something in the long term. Not 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 right now, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It wouldn't be like yeah. in the next year or two, probably like sort of yeah. with four or five maybe or something. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't mind this kind of vibe about her. Mm. Um, I think it's a moment in time. I don't think it was always this way with the mum's style, you know. But uh, yeah, uh, but I do feel like there's some impression um, that might come into this aspect here. Yeah. Um, she's very. I almost feel like her eyebrow could have been a bit. You know, she might have been a bit particular about her eyebrows, was she? I feel like yeah. I need to be. Yeah, she never wore <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> she never wore lipstick, but she did used to put pencil on the eyebrows, yeah. yeah. More eye makeup than sort of lower part makeup, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm this way inclined a little bit. But anyway, do you see something in the drawing? I do, yeah. The, uh, the, yeah. the hair's right. She she was a bit thin on top at, at the end, and that bit, but yeah. it's a longer down, yeah, the sides, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's just this impression, anyway, and I do feel like this was a moment yeah. in time. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have always been like this, you know. No, no, definitely not. No, mm. yeah, she had quite a few styles, and in the sixties, she had the beehives and all that, you know, the uh, wigs. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. All that, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe the cheeks slightly, slightly a bit wider. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, not quite. Yeah, they're definitely wider in that picture. Yeah, but the yeah, lips are wider. Yeah. yeah the, Long thin nose, so that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, anyway, a lot of love, lot of love to you. Thank Please you. take love a well. <laughs> and um and love to dad. Happy birthday to dad. Will do. Happy, birth happy, happy birthday to dad. I think that's one of her big tickets anyway to tell dad that she loves him and uh, happy birthday. Oh, I will definitely do. You know, and uh, she will um shine bright for you and always be around you and i feel like right. at some point yeah you're probably going to go back home to the motherland for a visit uh, okay, maybe yeah. have time to reflect and make up your mind whether you want to go back there at some yeah. point but uh yeah i, I but, definitely feel like my mum's around as well which is <laughs> so <laughs> she is uh beautiful please take your love yeah thank you i will do no problem no problem Thank you.